Hello everyone, I'm Frank of Super Frank Place, and welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, so you might be wondering why am I playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't have a clue, but I figured that I'm probably going to be looking at this game a few times throughout however long I decide to make content, and I might as well just get one of them out of the way, and that's in the form of a Let's Play. So, yes. I am playing on the Xbox 360, so if you hear something really loud and obnoxious... That's it, trying to read the disc. Yes, I own it on a disc. I actually don't remember how much it cost. It was like $10. Anyways, uh, yes, we'll create new save data because unfortunately I had to delete my old save data, which had the game... I, I actually completed the game. I had every story passed, and then I had to go into the system and delete it. And I know somebody might be asking, well, why don't you just keep it and store it on like a flash drive that's um, on it? Well... How often am I, I... Every time I have to restart the game from the very beginning, I'm going to have to just play from the very start, which I'm not looking forward to. Anyways, let's just get it started. Not funny, after like... What is it, like 10 years? Almost 11 years? Cutscene still looks pretty cool. But the water looks good. Like very, and everyone's compared it to Final Fantasy. And I, just, I agree with them. She has abnormally long legs. It's weird. I mean, look at that. Either, either that or the rest of her body's like something. Either her legs or the rest of her body's just like not proportioned right because her legs are ridiculously tall or long. Excuse me, I don't care. Still a good looking cutscene. Miss Elise? It it's all right. We give thanks for the blessed flames. May we always continue to have peace. Son of Soliana, guide and watch over us with your eternal light. Okay, there's a lot of things I've never noticed, like how that fire pattern is. First off, how? How do you... Never mind. Forget my question. Everything's just getting... Everything's just getting wrecked by... By the Egg Cadillac. <laughs> I can't say it right. The Egg Cadillac. Does it have the power of chaos? <laughs> ah, that's awful. And that's just unsettling. You'll see why. Pleasure to meet you at last, Princess of Soliana. I am Dr. Eggman. I've come here to obtain the secret of the flames of disaster from you, and to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secret, the Chaos Emerald. Now, Princess, this way, please. Okay, another weird thing. Eggman, for being an overweight guy, I guess it's closer to his actual character design. Oh, and uh, conflicting art. Here we go. Or conflicting... What the hell? Hi. Commence the shooting. <laughs> but yeah, Eggman's got, like... He's like an overweight person, but he's got really thin legs. That might just be... It's, like, it, it's a weird... And there goes, all the, there goes all the seriousness from his impact. Sonic the Hedgehog! Not that irritating hedgehog again! Attack! I finally found him. The Iblis Trigger. I can barely hear a damn thing. That Xbox is loud as hell. So, I'm going to do the unprofessional thing and move the microphone as I am recording it. Or as I'm recording this Let's Play. Anyways, um, I kind of feel bad for Silver. The idea of what he, like, oh, there's actual game's graphics. If you haven't seen that a hundred thousand times. But that's what the game actually looks like, as opposed to the cutscenes that look dope. And they look really cool, and... 
I just noticed another thing. What the hell happened between the cutscene and now? It's like her legs. I know this is like little nitpick things, but. I'm afraid our little game ends now. Did her legs just change color? Like it just got darker or something? As opposed to the cutscene we saw, which, I mean... I got it. Uh, whatever. Who worry. cares? I'll rescue you. I know. Hmm. It's only a matter of time before it's mine. Until then, you can hold on to it for me. There's like nothing I really want to say, but man, I, I, I have the urge to talk over these cutscenes because I just don't care. And there he goes. You know, it's weird how I, every single game he tries going for the Chaos Emeralds or something like that, or he has the Chaos Emeralds. This is the one time he doesn't really even take them. Doesn't even fight Sonic for them. I know it's early in the game, but still. So this is Soliana, and this is the biggest thing you will see in Sonic 06. As many people have stated, uh, you will see the long load times, which are ridiculous. And uh, we're just going to have to deal with them. We're really going to have to deal with them from here on out. However long I'm doing this for. What's Eggman up to? I need to gather some information. So yeah, it, I, this is supposed to be similar to how the Sonic Adventure games run, which don't feel that... It doesn't feel that bad at all. I mean, I like the feeling of it. I just don't like this game, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because look at it again, another load screen. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be fun. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel bad when you run around. Tails. Long time no see. I'm glad you're here. I heard that you tried to save their princess from Dr. Eggman. You're going to rescue her, aren't you? Let me help. I may not know what Eggman's up to, but it can't be a good thing. Okay. With your help, this should be a piece of cake. <laughs> How do you not... Like, you've... This is like the same stuff you've been through probably a hundred thousand times. You know what Eggman's up to. It's called evil. Chances are, he's out for something. Maybe Chaos Emeralds. Maybe it has something to do with Elise. Point is, we're going to find out. I swear that console is going to drive me crazy as I'm doing this. So, I guess we talk to you. No. Uh, who do we talk to? I haven't played this in like... Oh, I think since I was in high school or something, or maybe when I started college. Oh, we talk. Let's talk to you. Do I have enough? For... Oh, I don't have. I don't even have rings. <laughs> I've been making shoes in this town for a very long time. I make the ultimate shoes now. These shoes use the power of Soliana's mysterious stones to change. I call them custom shoes. But there's no one that can test the full potential of these shoes. Is there anyone who could test them? You will really. Yes. Chances are you need, me, you need me for this reason. And, uh, of course, the uh, originality of the name is something that will, uh, I, I'll never understand. Custom shoes. You didn't want to call them shoes number two? Put on these shoes, go through the rings. I made the shoes correctly, you'll make it on time. The Winder of Shoemaker. And this is the very first thing we do. We go through rings and uh, insert Superman 64 joke here. I don't care because honestly there is a much better game that did that and it makes me laugh. If anyone's played Dragon Ball Fusions You'll notice the one thing that happens is that... Oh my god! Okay, I did not have control of that. Might be the... That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I did have control. That was my fault. 
But if anyone's played Dragon Ball Fusions, um, sorry. <laughs> Amazing, they performed as I thought. My custom shoes are complete. I will give you these shoes, you'll be able to use them. Money? I don't want any money, I'm just, uh, what? It's very rare, but if you put in these custom shoes, they will give you an entirely new ability. The best shoes in the world, worn by the best runner in the world. I'm so happy. So you make a pair of shoes, and the only thing you want to do is just have somebody wear them. How much did I get? I probably didn't get a good score. That was incredible. Wow. I got an S. I, I think this is made to get an S rank. I barely got an S ranking. Anyways... What I was trying to say, you make a pair of shoes just so that way you can have one person wear them because you know that nobody else would be able to wear them. The only person that can run it is a blue hedgehog. You might need a new job. A new hobby, if that's what it is, because you obviously don't take money for it. Anyways, uh, if you played a game called Dragon Ball Fusion, one of the tutorials is like um, training you how to fly, and it does the Superman 64 thing, like... I mean, with obviously better flight controls. But it was funny to see that because... Okay. Why not just say sold out? Don't give me that price again. I, I couldn't even tell if I actually bought it. So now that we have this, I believe we have enough time. Yeah, we've got about a few more minutes. We can just use the light speed attack diagonally, apparently, because we're badasses. And we're going to jump into our very first stage, and definitely not our last loading screen, because we got a couple dozens of these to go. Anyways, we're going to go to Rehash uh, Emerald Coast. And again, I feel like um, Sonic Heroes tried the same thing with uh, Seaside, whatever it's called. It was, a, it was a beach area that was just like Emerald Coast, and oh my gosh. Yep. I never got the point of this, of this thing right, oh, I could have hit that ring, oops. Anyways, this is Sonic 06, where you can hit checkpoints apparently, and endure slowdown. Uh, really? I feel like, oh, I felt like I was going to die right there. Jump up there, and uh, loop to here. Maybe. Same old stuff as Sonic Adventure, you got the homing attack and other stuff. You got this uh, wall jumping thing, which is pretty neat. And you got these cool, you got the cool rainbow rings, which will let you uh, pretty much cut through other areas. Oh, dang, I missed that. I actually had it. Now, one of the things is that you're spinning. Oh, I don't even have it. You can do that, or you can do that. Uh, it's pretty much the same action button. Okay. But it's not as reliable as, say, just this. Just spinning in the. Wow. Skip all of it. It's not as reliable because you you have to hold the action button to do that, and when you don't hold the action button, you just do like that leg sweep thing that he did. Remember what I was talking about when I said they were reusing something from Sonic? There you go. There you go. That scene. What? I've never seen that before. And I've played this level more times than I should actually admit to. And I went through that ring. I went through the Golden Funyun. Maybe I just let... Don't touch a seat. Okay, I think that was my problem. I, It's like Sonic Adventure. You hold the directional... Like, you hold the control stick in a way you're not supposed to... In a direction that you're not supposed to, then that will, that will happen. You'll fly off the screen or something. I've seen it in Sonic Adventure. This, um, yeah, you, you won't get, like, Sonic Story or Tail Story. You play as Tails, you got... Really? Huh. That's interesting. I... 
yeah, it's Tails' attack can be doing that. By... He, he can throw fake rings and they can be used to hurt enemies. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it. Then again, it's better than the mech stuff in uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Which... Come on, get me up there, get me up there. Ah, oh, dang, I wanted to just really break that. Um, I think, like other 3D games, you can find ways to just completely... Uh, completely just skip certain parts of it. Now I'm going to try and do as many as I can, but there's not going to be as many. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be care I'm going to be careful with it. I'm not going to like do unnecessary shortcuts because I know some of them are not safe enough to do. Like that one where I just skipped a bunch of enemies. I knew I could do that. And now we're going to get to my least favorite part of any of the levels and it's the mock sections. Because anytime you hit something, you either lose rings or you die. You go in one direction, it's, it's like a precursor to the boost formula stuff, except done really, really poorly. You'll see what I mean. I might have a few attempts at this. So technically, I can just do this and hit that. Oh. Hey, that, okay, that is not fair. See? Look at that. I just flew right off. I'm just gonna go between the legs, go between the legs. Okay, so if you do go too fast, it might be a problem, and you can levitate off that. I don't get that. Why do I get hurt off that? But yeah, this is my problem. I'm gonna play it safe here and just try to just not get hurt by a single thing. Note that I said try. I don't exactly expect results. This one, I never got how to get through this. Like, going to that left path, I never got that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm going too far, I'm going too, I'm going too far off course. Okay. I'm safe now. I'm safe now? Oh my gosh, that was... I thought there was a ring there. I thought it was going to fly off course and I didn't want to. And my score is probably a B. Just made it. That's fine. I'm not going to S rank everything because that's too generous to a game like this. I don't really need to and I don't really want to. There you go. But now we get our emblems, which are gold medals. That's fine. Uh, I, I believe it works the same way as like the emblems from Adventure One and Two. So, or oh, and um, Heroes. It works. I, I believe it works the same way. Just not the DX versions of Adventure, where you can get like mini games for games that are maybe built with better quality, or who knows? That's on somebody else's opinion. There goes a feather. Where did that feather fall from? Was it in her hair? Man, I... Uh, Tails ran the other way, I think. Oh, crap. Okay, there, there's not a huge enough delay on the capture card C. Okay, so now we're back in Soliana. And I think... Yeah, it's a bit of a slow start, but we're going to have to call it a, an episode, a part, a video. So... I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like the if you like the series, if you want to see me rage in Sonic 06, hopefully it does happen. I'm I'm kind of hoping it does. Uh, share the video with people that you know. Let's, let's see exactly. Uh, I don't know. Get a I'd say get a conversation of Sonic 06 going, but I'm kind of afraid of that. Anyways, until next time, I'm Frank of Super Frank Plays, and I'll see you in the next part of Sonic the Hedgehog 06. See ya.